Okay, I got an interest problem right here involving uh, interest in two different accounts. And I want you to kind of, um, if, if you don't, if you can't remember what interest is, um, basically, interest is basically like a fee that, in this case, a bank will actually pay you if you, uh, if you basically keep money in their account. So, if I start a, a savings account for a hundred bucks, okay, and the bank is actually going to pay me uh, some money, okay, they're going to pay me interest, um, I abbreviated INT, um, to keep that money in there. And, and, and what they're going to do, when, when I put my hundred bucks in the savings account, they're going to take, uh, they're, they're going to take some of my money and they're going to loan it to other people at a higher uh, rate. Um, and they're going to charge them, them to uh, borrow that money. And that's going to have a a little bit of uh, insight behind the problem, but um, to find out what interest is, it's usually it's usually calculated as a capital I, and it's just principal times the rate. Okay, and that's just basically for a a, a, a given time frame. And so the, the principal refers to how much money you put in. In this case, it would be the one hundred dollars and whatever the interest rate was. So if uh, the interest rate was one percent, um, and I put a hundred dollars in, um, after the given time frame that this applies to, I'd get another dollar. You know, basically the bank would pay me a dollar to keep a hundred bucks in there for a year. Okay, so that's that's basically. Um, Kind of uh, how the interest works, just in case you forgot or haven't, you know, uh, haven't gotten to that stage of your life where you've uh, opened a savings account or anything. So, um, but but that's just kind of an insight on here. So let's read the problem. It says, it says, you have invested seven thousand dollars into two different savings accounts. Okay. One pays eight per or one one pays six percent interest, and the other one looks like it pays eight percent interest. Okay, at the end of the year, the total interest earned was five hundred and twenty dollars. Okay, so it, so basically, I took seven thousand dollars. I put a little bit of it in the one account. I put a little bit of it into another account, and at the end of the year, I made five hundred and twenty bucks. Okay, so let's. Let's write down um, what we know. And let's just call one of these account one and account number two, okay? So we'll have a bank account number one and bank account number two. So that's what we'll call them. Account number one, okay? Well, I don't know how much money I put into account number one. You know, it's, 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 I mean, I, you know, I know how much I totally invested, but I don't know exactly how much I put in here. So let's just call it X dollars. I put X dollars into account number one, and that account paid 6% interest. So 6% is equal to 0 0.06, okay, just six one hundredths, okay? And account number two, I put in, I don't know how much I put it, again, I don't know how much I put in exactly. I put Y dollars in, and that rate was point was 8%, okay? So, basically, um, we have, all we have here is really just a, a big addition problem, okay? And that, that's, that's all this is. Um, because we're going to add these two accounts together. Because um, first of all, if I want if I want to find the interest in account number one, I use the same formula here. I take how much money did I put in the account multiplied by the rate, and that'll give me the interest. So I'm going to do that for account number one. Okay. I'm going to write. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of write it like this. So account number one, how much interest? I'm, I'm finding total interest, remember? The total interest, so it'll be the interest from the account number one plus the interest 
to account number two. That's basically what it, what this looks like, doesn't it? That make, that makes sense. Account number one's interest plus account number two's interest equals total interest. Okay. Well, what is the account number one interest? Remember, it's the uh, principal plus the rate, which I don't really know what the principal is, but I know what the rate is. So I call the principal X dollars, and we'll just write it as X, multiplied by 0 0.06, okay? And account number two, I, didn't, I don't know how, exactly how much I put in, so I called it Y, okay? So we'll just say Y times 0.08% gives me the interest of account number two. Now it's given that the total interest is $520, so I'll write that there. So now I have an equation. I have interest in account number one plus interest in account number two equals total interest. Only problem is, is I've got an X and a Y here. If I just had an X, a single variable, everything would be fine. So th this is the actual heart of the problem right here, okay? So let's go back to the original problem. It says I had uh, $7,000 total, okay? And I put it in, the, in the each account, okay? And that's my principal amount right here. So X, how, the amount of money I invested in account number one plus the amount of money I invested in account number two should equal $7,000, shouldn't it? Okay, because I have seven thousand dollars total to put in my uh, savings account. I just I'm trying to figure out how much I put in each one. Okay, so what I can do is I can write x plus y equals seven thousand dollars. Okay, and and you see why I got that amount that I stuck into account one, amount I stuck into account two, and they should total up to seven thousand dollars. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to subtract y from both sides. Okay, I'm going to subtract y from both sides, and that's going to give me x equals seven thousand dollars minus y. Okay, so now x equals seven thousand minus y, so it looks like I can take this guy right here. This, this X right here, this whole thing, and I can go ahead and I can go ahead and plug it into my X up here in my equation. See, here's my, here's my uh, actual equation that's gonna figure everything out. So I'm gonna take this value, okay, and I'm just gonna plug it in up here, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna take I'm going to take 7,000 minus y almost kind of ran out of room there and it looks like I'm going to run out of time so that will definitely be a part two to this video so now I have an equation here and it's all in terms of y but it's a, it's a little bit wacky, so what we're, we're gonna do a couple tricks here and we're gonna do some simplification first. First of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually distribute the 6% over here, okay? I'm gonna use that distributive property, okay? Because that's, that's, that's really all that is. It's just a number outside of the parentheses, so I'm just gonna distribute that in there and I'm also going to take this y I'm going to multiply it here, and I'm going to get rid of all the parentheses, okay? And I'm going to do all that in the next video, okay? So just stay tuned.